what's up guys uh, this is this will be my uh, ultimate uh, tweaking video sorry if my mic is shit but i don't i can't do anything about that but uh let's get started the first thing that you want to do is uh go type change the resolution of uh, sorry change the resolution of the display in your windows taskbar this is for windows 11 and windows 10 press this and then you want to go to scroll down you'll be in this page you want to scroll down into advanced display settings go to your refresh rate and make sure this is on the highest not on 50 hertz or 240 or, or like 59 mine is i have a 240 hertz monitor so i put mine on the highest if you do if you're playing on laptop and uh, you have a monitor that has more hertz i recommend you plug it in Plugging in your monitor and using the and uh, check if you have the max amount of hertz clicked on. And for any device, it's usually set on 60. I remember when I first got this uh, PC, uh, I was it was uh, defaulted 60, and then I moved it up to 240. It really helps with your games such as Valorant, Fortnite, Apex, whatever you play, Roblox, and yeah, this should help you a lot if you're not already at the highest. The second thing is uh, you want to type system. Uh, uh, system configuration. You're going to go into this page. You want to go to boot. Uh, so I have a pretty powerful PC. Uh, uh, so make sure everyone, uh, any PC should have no GUI boot uh, on. The timeout, if you have a, like a, mid to, um, to high end pc uh, uh you can put it at 10 but if you have a low end pc i recommend you putting it on 20 and if it messes up your computer just leave it back at 30 because 30 is the default after you finish that make sure you click on this number of processors and put it on the highest mine is 16 so i put it on 16. press ok apply and there should be a something that says uh restart your pc but uh, don't restart it yet. Uh, menu uh, settings is that uh, you would want to go uh, type edit power plan. When you're here, uh, go back to power options. You should see this button. Just go press it. And if you have high performance, make sure you're using high performance. But if you don't, go to create a power plan. Click on high performance. Next. This is uh, uh, optional, whatever you want to put it on, put it on, uh, then create. And then you can change the name or anything you want, but here, high performance. Now you can close this. Uh, also, uh, one last thing, if you are on laptop, make sure that you have your laptop always charged for the optimal performance, especially with the uh, uh, high performance mode now. The next thing is you want to go into NVIDIA control panel. Uh, this is all optional, optional. But you want to go to adjust image settings with preview. Uh, you want to put it on use my preference emphasizing and scroll to performance. Put it on performance. Uh, see, uh, it's, very, it's uh, not as a good quality like this, but this will get you more performance, sacrificing quality for performance. Next thing you want to do is go to manage 3D settings and uh, copy all of these uh, all of these settings. Anything that you don't see, uh, just leave it alone. Or anything that's not here, just leave it alone. I'm going to scroll to, so you can see them all. Low latency, put it on ultra, max memory off. Uh, open GL rendering GPU. Uh, Make sure you put it on yours. I have a RTX 3080, so I just clicked on mine. And then, yeah. Power management, which is also very important, is uh, put it on preferred maximum performance. It should be on normal, but put it on preferred maximum performance. And refresh rate, put it on highest available for the best uh, refresh rate. Just copy all of these down. All right, after you copied all these settings, you want to press apply, wait for it to apply, and then you want to close this. 
so the next thing that I want to share with you guys is uh, three apps, uh, four apps, sorry, for this ultimate uh, speaking. Uh, the first app would be, uh, I already have all of these uh, apps such as uh, Quick CPU, uh, where is it? Uh, Wise Memory Optimizer, uh, I have, I think I have CC Cleaner, I have CC Cleaner and uh, Part Control. We're going to install all these three apps and I'm going to show you how. So you want to type in Google, uh, first of all, uh, Quick uh, CPU. You press on this. Uh, sometimes Quick CPU, you, you won't be able to download it. So if you can't, don't worry, just leave it alone. You want to scroll down, down, you want to scroll, just scroll, 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 down, 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 until you see this download Quick CPU 60 times 64. Close these ads, do not fall for any of these scams slash ads. And then you just want to wait. I'm probably going to cut this uh, to get to zero seconds, so I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, uh, the download just finished. So as soon as it finishes, uh, you just want to open it. Uh, make sure you have a, a, an app that uh, allows you to extract uh, folders. And uh, like me, I have this Breezes. Close this, uh, then it just opens up, click setup, next, accept, next, next, and then install. I already have it installed, but this is just for you guys. And then just, yeah, and then this will pop up with yes. Wait for it. Finish. Yes. You close this now. And you just wait so it opens. I see this. All right, uh, so I already finished, did all of this, but uh, you want to make sure that, again, it's on high performance. And uh, if you have, like, any of these that isn't on 100%, like, for example, this is 56 and this is, like, 76, put them on 100%, click Apply, and then you should be good to go. Then you can close this. The second thing, uh, the second app is called Pork Control. You just want to press your download port control. Wait for it. Open when done over here. Click yes. Okay. I agree. Next. Install. Then this should open up. Again, make sure this is on high performance. Then what I want you to do is click on enable all of these to advance and put these at 100%. 100, 100, 100, 100. Click apply. These all should go back to disabled, but they should be at 100%. Look, it's using all the, it's using uh, the most amount of gigahertz and the most amount of cores, which is what you want. Now it's using your CPU at max performance. You want to click OK and just uh, close this tab now. The last, uh, the, one of the last tabs is a uh, wise memory optimizer. You just wanna you just wanna press on this one. Free download. You just wanna wait for it to come up. Just wait for it to install. Uh I might cut to uh when it finishes, so yeah. Alright guys, uh we just finished the download, so uh you just wanna open this. Yes. And uh, I accept, install, wait for it to install, finish. And then you should have this small screen pop up. First thing I want you to do is go into the settings bar. Make sure all of these are checked. Dark mode is optional. I just like it dark, not light. I don't like this. I like it like this. Uh, make sure you have a... So you just want to press on auto optimization. Uh, if you want, uh, and optimize every three minutes. Make sure you have an optimize every three minutes. And then you want to make sure that you have all of these checked, the defrag RAM, free up RAM, and empty standby RAM, and then optimize. And then just wait for it to finish optimizing. It should start using more of your RAM, but then it will decrease dramatically, which is a very good.
uh, to optimize automatically for you every three minutes so you don't have to worry about this uh, page ever again. You can just see that now it's just going up and it's using a lot more of my RAM than it was at the beginning. Then eventually it will go down. Just like give it a minute or however long it needs. So this doesn't really like do anything to your PC. It just reduces the unneeded amount of applications or things that are running in your background. See how it's decreasing? This is a lot less than I had. I had 28%, I think. But then uh, if it needs to use the RAM, it will go back up. But that's what your computer needs. That's what it's going to need. So you just need to close this now. And uh, for the last two things, I'm going to put two FPS packs in the uh, bio. And uh, I'm just going to pop them up right now from my Discord. I'll put these links in the uh uh what is it? I'll put these links in the description here. Yeah. Right, so uh the next thing that uh you wanna go uh no uh the first FPS pack is uh, from this server. Uh it's called the uh, uh, King's server. I will put the link in the description for it. It is really good and uh, yeah. So uh, this is the FPS pack. Just can press uh, download it. Make sure you have a app for extracting the file and for all the stuff. Uh, I will go back to you guys uh, when it uh, finishes downloading. All right, guys, it just finished. So uh, what you're gonna do is just open it. Uh, I'll just use mine, it's called Breeze It. If you, you just download it from the Microsoft Store if you want. Press okay. Uh, if you do choose to download this, you will uh, have like this popped up. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do if you're on Windows, uh, if you're just on anything, you just wanna press on all of these registry tweaks Use all of these except for the Fortnite normal priority one because uh, this FPS is mainly for Fortnite. And uh, just use them uh, all except for the Fortnite normal, uh, normal priority. Just use the high one and the other one. For batch optimizations, just use them all. You should improve the, uh, in, the ping and, all, and everything. Windows optimization, you can uh, use all of these. Uh, this one doesn't work, so if you just want to use it, use it, but it won't work. Uh, config file and RecOS plan, don't use it because we already put the uh, high performance power plan and the config file doesn't really help that much. Uh, so this is the link, media fire. You should open up to this called media fire. Just download it. Wait for it. Just wait for it to finish downloading. And yeah, I will, I'll get back to you after it finishes. All right, guys, uh, we just finished uh, downloading this. So after you finish downloading it, just, you want to open it. Click open. Your, vi your uh, laptop, might, your PC might think it's a scan, uh, virus. So all you want to do is just go in here. Like, just press on them, double tap, and then press any key to continue. Just keep on doing it. Uh, sometimes they might have like a big pause. Uh, so just wait till it gives you the uh uh, uh cont click a button to continue and uh, like here there's a big pause but then the button the yeah it's still moving though these are all unneeded files that is just clogging up your space and uh, if you press any key to continue just do the same for all leave the config file alone. Use the, all of, these are gonna be very helpful. These are very helpful for me. Like all of them are very helpful. Uh, like prevent unnecessary. All very helpful. Power tweaks is also helpful for me. All of them. Input delay fix. Uh, uh, th this is uh, use it at your uh own risk. Uh, I don't know if it really helps you, but uh, 
uh, uh, once uh, when I was speaking to someone, he told me that uh, these two messed up his uh, uh, mouse or like anything. Like uh, use this at your own risk, but it does help you also. Uh, this I don't think this does anything. So just use them. And these are better. Um, this one maybe don't use it if your monitor or like a uh, resolution is different. So yeah, just use them all. Uh, this one also helps a lot, so just use it. Then you just want to go back uh, to like use these ping tweaks. These also help with your ping. I'm on zero ping right now. Uh, do not use this power plant. You're still on high performance. High performance is you get trapped. Uh, so after you finish all of this, uh, uh, I'm going to do something for Fortnite, which is going to help you. You want to go into settings. Make sure you're, uh, if you're not in performance mode, uh, we'll get to performance mode. But uh, I have a very good PC, so I just want to get the most out of my view distance. So I just put mine on Epic. Never put your 3D resolution on 100% because it gives you stutters. So just put it on 99%. Uh, V-Sync off, shock the S uh, optional. Uh, but now we want to change to DirectX 11. You just want to press confirm and restart your game. Alright guys, uh, we're in the Windows, uh, we're in the DirectX 11 settings. Uh, there's a lot more settings now. We're going to get to that. Uh, for, all, for the best performance, put it on full screen. but uh, I rather on Windows full screen, that's my option, but like for the best performance, put it on full screen, because Windows, uh, Windows uh, full screen does sacrifice performance. So again, uh, put on, uh, put anti-analyzing and super resolution off, this does not help, this actually decreases your FPS and performance. Again, 3D was uh, same thing from performance mode, and this is still will be the same thing. Make sure everything else is off, 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 off. Uh, everything is off. And then the advanced graphics setting. Uh, this, uh, some things uh, like uh, latency markers, NVIDIA reflex low latency, and uh, 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 maybe you have latency flash. Uh, they might not be on here. Uh, if you don't have that uh, NVIDIA graphics card, so just be aware, be aware of that. So V-Sync off, motion blur off, FPS on, this is optional, I like to see my FPS. Allow, allow multi-thread rendering on, use GPU debugging off, latency markers off, and this will help you a lot in your uh, latency and how uh, less delayed your uh, laptop or game or PC will be in Fortnite. Just put this on on plus boost, then uh, click apply. And then go back to performance mode and uh, restart your game. And uh, that will be the ending of uh, this video. Uh, I'll make sure to have the King uh, uh, Discord uh, link in the description and the two FPS packs in the description. Make sure to subscribe and have a good day.